Hello and welcome to the Ellen Valley in Mid Wales. The plan today is to do what's known as the Dam Busters Walk. It's a place here in the Ellen Valley where Barnes Wallace practiced blowing up the bomb for the famous Dam Busters when they tried to destroy the dams in the Ruhr Valley in Germany during the Second World War. about five minutes and it's starting to rain already so it's a good job we brought our waterproofs with us isn't it Matthew? yeah <laughs> You look wet, Holly. I am. I, my head keeps on blowing off. There was something called the 617 Squadron, which was nicknamed Dam Busters High. Uh, and they had a bouncing bomb that would bounce on the water. This is the water, this is the bomb. Oh. And then it would explode the dams. Okay. Are the dam masses bad or good? Good. Well, to the Nazis, they were bad. But to us, they were good. Okay. So, I think it was three dams they tried so to explode, but they failed to explode one. How do you know all this information about them, Nathan? School. Oh. I learned about them in school a few months ago. Oh, I haven't. I really had to write a, a recount of, about the film. So this is the Dambuster Dam, the Nantigro Dam. And there's a little plaque here that says the information about it. If you want to read it all, I suggest pausing the video. So what this dam was originally created for was this area around us here was the workers' village. So all the dams around us were created by the workers, so they obviously needed clean water to, to drink. So this small dam behind us here, which later became known as the Dam Busters Dam in Nanty Grove, uh, was created so they could have clean drinking water. And then when it was disused and no longer needed, the British government asked if they could perform experiments, top secret experiments on there during the Second World War and that's where they practiced the explosives that would later become the bouncing bombs during the uh, Dambusters raids in the Ruhr Valley in Germany during the Second World War. Eee! I think there was 17 or 18 planes sent to blow up the dams even though they were sent to blow up three mm. and only 
nine of them came back, I think. We've just finished exploring the destroyed dam and now we're going to continue on the loop path that they call the Nantigrui path. So hopefully, I think it'll be about another hour's walk and then we'll get back to the visitor centre, probably have something else to eat there and then keep exploring the Elland Valley, see what else is here and look at all the different dams. Now if you decide to come to the Ellen Valley, uh, one thing you need to remember is car parking. So there's a £3 fee to park at the car parks. They take your car registration number, but then it's valid for all the car parks in the area throughout the day. As soon as you get here, the best thing you should do is go into the visitor centre Inside you can speak to the local guides and they'll give you a map of all the different walks in the area and explain which is the best way to come. So we're doing the Nantigroy path which visits the Dambusters Dam which is the whole reason for us to come here because Matthew's been learning about it in school. This is an example of the uh, walks that they give out in the visitor centre. So you see the trail is quite clearly marked along here and it's got step-by-step -step instructions as well to what you need to follow. So it tells you all the turn styles you need to turn over, when you need to turn left, when you need to turn right. Uh, it's very useful and I fully recommend going in there first to speak to one of the local guides. I want to go to the top of here and get away. Like this leg, this leg is fine not doing this, but my other leg hurts. <laughs> now we're at the top, Holly. Look, this by there's the top. Okay. What do you want to do, Holly? I'm going in the woods. Yeah? I want to go in the woods. Okay. The road we've just walked down all the way from up there coming down 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 here then when we meet the t-junction on the road we turn left and head this way back towards the reservoirs Along the path there's very little chance of getting lost even if you don't have them up because quite clearly um, signposted with these uh, trail markers. Oh, so you can either cross the stream or go over the bridge. I'll cross the stream. There we go. That was 
easy? Yeah. We're almost back at the visitor centre now. Um, it's taken almost two and a half hours to do the complete loop and we've done about three and a half miles but we have taken it very slowly. We stopped for, to have a little picnic and to fly the drone as well. So probably if you're walking a bit quicker than us you could probably do it in about two hours easily. Uh, there's a few uphill sections which are a bit tiring which we need to take rests on but everything else has been a nice straightforward walk hasn't it? Yeah. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, shall we go back to the visitor centre then and see what they've got there for us to have a snack? Yeah, yeah. ice cream. Yeah. What did you go for, Mackie? Ice cream or something in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like ice cream. So it has like lime, ice lolly, thingy, rabobby, like here. That's the green stuff. And then in the middle, it has like raspberry, ice lolly stuff. And then here it has like ice cream, like the middle ice cream. Okay. And I went for a clipper. raining again so rather than walk to the other dams which are in the Ellen Valley we decide to drive to each one so we don't get as wet so the nearest one is a five minute drive from where we are now the visitors car park okay so we're just going to do a really short walk along the Pennabont or pen bond trail just basically from the car park where we are here to the penny garrig reservoir and the small little dam there so we're just going to follow this trail it's half a mile long and it said it's suitable for wheelchairs and push chairs so hopefully we should be okay I think this will be the last dam of the day, so we're going to get back in the car and head home. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell down below.